I love a tragic fashion show. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to The Gaining Ground. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Amber Lynn Reed is back. She released a video called, I don't even know anymore. Oh, and a torrid haul. Ugh. I mean, her videos are just getting me so aggravated. I don't even know why I'm going to watch this, but it's just something to watch and react to. And I keep hoping that there's going to be some kind of miracle. And we all know there's not going to be a miracle, but I'm so, so stupid. I'm too stupid and so stupid that I think it's going to happen. So I'm going to watch this video. It's about 14 minutes long, but I still sped her up because I don't have the time or the patience to hear her about her uh, self-diagnosed uh, medical ailments or coochies on fire, butt pain, her mental illnesses that I don't even think she's ever had fully diagnosed. I know there were some comments about it, and I don't even know what a torrid haul is. I thought torrid is a bad word, so I don't know if she hauled a bunch of dead animals. I don't know what a torrid thing. I, I'm too new to the internets. Not the internets, but all of this stuff. I don't do torrids. I don't do the ipsies. So I don't know what she's hauling. I'm hoping it's a 30-day diet. I'm hoping since Chantal is on hauling one, maybe Amberlynn Reed's going to haul one. Who knows? So come along with me. Uh, let's hear what kind of excuses Amberlynn Reed has. Let's see what kind of garbage food she's going to eat. Although she doesn't mention eating, so maybe she'll at least save me that uh, heartache and that um, um, devastation. So maybe this will just be clothes and a bunch of what was me garbage. And then maybe maybe I'll see the dream catcher. The dream catcher is always a win. So come along. Let's see what kind of crazy crap this, this woman's going to put me through today. Let's go. Hey, guys. So welcome to another video. I woke up just... A little bit ago. Uh, it's probably 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Let's talk about the look. Still pale as hell. No makeup. She looks sickly. The hair, I do enjoy it when it's down like that. I'll give her one for the hair. And I don't understand that shirt. Um, it looks like Christmas wrapping paper. And I think that aggravates me is the skin. Amber Lynn Reed, we've talked about this. There are children watching. It is not primetime television. You don't need to have everything exposed like that. Um, and then I see a little bra action. And normally I give the Chantal a win when I see a little bra action. I do not give her wins for that because it just looks different on her. So uh, no more Christmas wrapping shirts. And let's cover that skin, please. I don't want to hear any conservatives. Oh, uh, actually, liberals or whoever the hell you are. We're not, not politically wise. But I just mean, oh, why should she have to cover her skin? Because I don't want to see it, okay? My channel, I want to see your skin, okay? I am right with the Lord. Um, I've been doing a lot of, like... Q and A's on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me there, okay, no, at Rarity Cat, no. R A R I. I think your Q and A's are, are full of lies and crap. So no. T Y C A T. I also post them on my Snapchat for people nope. who don't have Instagram. So that's also Rarity. On a scale of one to not, I'm not interested. Cat. I'm actually about to eat. Got myself some pasta, leftovers. I did a little meal preppy moment. I have another one. Um, this is ground chicken, onion, a little bit of low sodium marinara. Got some garlic in there pepper you know typical at least she put a protein in there this time and she didn't just have becky lift up the damn fridge and dump stuff in stuff i've been noticing oh yeah and I've oh those damn bruises oh someone told me they're like old cat scratches i don't know i don't know some mozzarella cheese and corn i've been really into corn i'm so tired of her putting corn and pasta uh would you like some carbs with your carbs ma'am sure why not corn with pasta. i've been noticing that um what i'm really loving elbow pasta it's like strange Remember when you loved losing weight? How exciting that was for everybody. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> it's kind of like her and Chantal, like if Foodie Beauty, have switched roles on me. Like I think they're d deliberately coordinated. They have Skype calls every morning to say, "How can we piss off the gaining ground, the gaining ground today?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna take a bite and do a little dance. It's gonna give me an orgasm. That'll really piss him off." And here I am, pissed off on the holy day. The only reason why I did that little dance is because why Chantal? There's a mukbang I watch. Almost every single time she takes a bite, she dances. Who? She said it makes the food taste better. Who? So I had to give it a try. And, um... Who? I guess it worked. But anyways, um, I actually have some torrid. Has Chantal like a be ever said dancing makes the food taste better? Or am I, am I overthinking this? That I want to haul for you guys. And I might do like a try on haul for you guys because it sounds Great. fun. Like I haven't done a torrid try on haul in forever. I love a tragic fashion show. Let's go. The package is out. Who needs Milan when you can go to Milwaukee? I'm just kidding. The thing against Milwaukee, I've never been there. I just I couldn't think of a, a town quick enough that starts with an M. I'm sure Milwaukee is a lovely city, city, and I'm sure they would put on a lovely fashion show with Emily and Reed if they had to. Relax. No, no hate mail. Actually, two months old, and I just now was like, you know what? I'm gonna open it. Why am I so low? Who cares? But yeah, it's been in the den, unopened for like two months now. So, let's go. Why does she have a den? 
I feel like dens are studious places. I don't. Why does she have a den? I really want to try to start. Well, thank God she gave up the, the Aquafinas. With the, which one was it? The Dasanis? I still don't understand that. I read the ingredients of Dasani. No idea how this crazy lady's talking about. Someone did confirm to me, though, that it was Shane Dawson. Still no interest in going to watch him or figure out what he was talking about. But yeah, I'm glad she's drinking Sam's Purified instead. Filming a little bit more. Yeah. Um, it's just with my sleeping schedule and like I mental schedule. state, which I don't want to. Well, listen, I get it. A woman who works 60 hours a week, third shift, it must be very hard for you. Consistently and constantly talk about, but it's like that's what I'm going through. Yeah, I get it's it. It's just like. The mixture of all that stuff. Your manufacturing uh, problems, just you have something to talk about. Totally understandable. Has been making it really hard for me to like do anything. So I'm gonna try my hardest to like create a mini routine. Mm -hmm. Like I know a lot of people who are just like blah. They sit on their phones all day, they watch, you know, Netflix all day. It's very common right now. And it's like so easy to get into that like that type of routine. What was your excuse before this then? Oh, she just gave me a pain in my left arm. Should I call 911? <sighs> that I kind of want to like shift my way out of it and I know it's gonna be really hard but but this is your it's life that I do that. that's all you've ever done from what I understand I try to drink one water bottle it's like a cat food. shifting its way out of being a cat it's impossible rarity cat first meal because I'm so bad with drinking liquids like anything yeah I don't know what it is so mm. right off the bat first not, meal I was forced not bad to at eating though drink me some water yeah not bad with the food and the what was me sympathy crap can, so can we get to can we get to the clothes is it a just torrid, people use is torrid clothes? I don't know why I'm asking. I would have found out probably and hopefully quickly. Beef instead of ground turkey or chicken. <sighs> yeah. It's so... Amazing. Like Becky, yeah. he's ground chicken or ground turkey. Yeah, well, She'll only use ground beef. Well, Becky's never invited to the barbecue again after that last video, so don't have to worry about what Becky eats. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. To me, ground beef does not taste as good. Plus, it's like not as healthy. Shut but up. Because that's how Becky grew up. I mean, I grew up with ground beef too, but I think something about like the fact that literally for like the last eight years, all I've really used has been ground chicken and ground turkey so it's like my taste buds are like yeah. used to it plus i just prefer the way that it makes me feel i guess yeah. okay yeah we got a regular bob harper here so healthy any who's all i'm gonna finish eating this okay so i just got done eating okay i'm gonna haul let's go christmas the tourist stuff first and then try it on you mm -hmm. guys know you guys know sure so the first thing is what did, why did she do that you guys know you guys know am i being conspiracy against earrings which i need to start wearing earrings again too that's for, how you know I'm depressed. For, I don't care because for I, what? You want to look your best when you go from living room to kitchen? I'm wearing earrings. So these are super cute, and I mainly got them for these uh, pink pair. The ones in the middle look like, um, I can't think of the chip, but yeah, I don't like those. Eh, the other two are okay. But I love hoops. Those are pretty much my go-to earring lately. I give but her two wins and one loss for that. Oh, this shirt's already a loss. I don't have to say anything else about it. It's really cute. Striped Pajama top. Dress. I absolutely so love So Torrid, is that the name of a store then? I guess, because that's on the tag. I don't know, who cares? Black, pink, red, and white. What size is that? And I thought I saw 14 on there. I know that's not true. You get it in a size 4, which honestly, some materials for 4. And then in other materials, I need oh, like a 5 or 6. Oh, 4X. Okay. And this honestly feels small. So I guess we'll see. But since mm. I'm losing weight, I'm on a weight loss journey. That oh, will, even if it is too tight, it will eventually fit me. Shut up. Well. <laughs> she just say I'm losing weight and I'm on a weight loss journey. Shut up, Emily Reed. I love you, but shut up. Okay, so this part. Ugh. It's like having a sister who you just, you just, you just, you love her to death, but you just shut up. Okay. I have bought pants Stupid. from Torrid two times. It was pajama pants and a black pair. I never tried on a black pair. Yeah. I think it was mainly because a part of me felt like they weren't going to fit and I didn't want to like admit it to myself. So I literally just gave them away. I had them for months and never tried them on. Okay. And then before I got the black pair, it was pajama pants with uh -huh. like these cute little dogs wow. and they did fit. They were perfect, like mm -hmm. around the thighs and the waist. If anything, maybe a little too big, uh -huh. but my calves, since I have lymphedema, it was so freaking tight. It was just so uncomfortable. The lymphedema. So I decided to take... Talked about those before. It's when people have extra ball sacks on their legs. It's when the that's not real ball sacks. They can't like go impregnate. She can't impregnate Becky with it or anything. But it's like it's when you're so big. You think it's fluid buildup. And when you watch on my 600 pound life, I've talked about this. Like the ladies when they get out of the bed, it's like bloop, a big old like leg testicle falls out of the bed and that's usually when i turn it off because I, oh i can't it's too much for me i'm glad she doesn't show us those because i don't want to see it the plunge and i got another pair oh my god and i'm gonna lymphedema not for me ma i have to try these on because i said i'm gonna do a video so oh, i gotta adjust I'm myself scared. um okay oh. so they look like this are those pants <laughs> oh boy they're supposed to be like you know dress up pants what, those what do you pants know? it's like a wide leg Y'all, I don't know, but we're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. In size five, we have a... I love a, I love a pantaloon. Crochet 
cardigan. And you know, it's kind of sad. I think I love a good crotchet. The reason why I didn't open this stuff is because A, I was in fear because I, I ordered it before like the virus started like <laughs> happening very rapidly. And right in the beginning of it getting really bad is when it finally came in the mail and I was like too scared to touch it. Uh, but then eventually it was like, God. it made me sad because it's like, okay, where am I gonna wear these things to? You know, because we're stuck in the house. So this is what this one looks like. I think it's super cute. It looks cozy. I love the colors. I'm pretty sure my great grandma had one of those. Mm, smells good too. It's like the, the cloth of it. I Actually, like no, I think I think that was, it looks like a quilt we had on her recliner, my grandmother's recliner. Maybe I can't tell. I can't tell if it was um, it was an it was an outfit that was a part of my parentage, or if it was a crochet blanket that sat on someone's recliner. But I'm having crazy '80s uh, deja vu from that. I hope she never wears it. So this is the last thing. It is a dress in size four. X. I got both my dresses in a size four. I guess I was feeling skinny. X. Okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, look how cute! I was anxiously awaiting. This. Um, this is where I was most excited hmm. to, to open. You know, I feel stretchy. It has these really cute flowers on them. This is like literally spring. It has these really cute buttons. It is a little uh, wrinkly. Hey, it's not a tragedy. It's okay. It's not tragic. It's better than the damn uh, Christmas miracle she's got on. I said. It was in the bag for over two months. Okay, so. There we go. Change of. Let me guess. Technical difficulties or something didn't fit. Which one is it? Plans. Um, I've been wanting to like order. The stain is still on the wall. I just missed it with her big head. But next time her head moves, the stain is still there. Eyes are. It's kind of like a seasoning angle so cute <clears throat> it's like a seasoning uh sugar sauce area i don't even know what to call it um and it's been like a crazy mess so i had a burst of energy because i've been wanting to do it anyways uh -huh. so i had a burst of energy of like okay let's get this done right now so okay. that's what i just oh, did i'm gonna see show the you the stain, before and see after the stain right watch 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 no, it's there rewind it you'll see it okay what uh, did she try on the bags of flour what does this have to do with trying on clothes did she try on the iced tea packets Okay, cute pantry. So, I feel like it looks a lot better. It was very time consuming. I had my music on and it was kind of like therapeutic as well, even though I'm like super exhausted because I took everything off, wiped it all down and then started completely fresh. So I think- Could you imagine reorganizing your pantry as, as being, you're, oh, what did you do Sam? I just, I'm exhausted a day from hell. What happened? Did you, did you run a marathon? Did you clean under your couch? Did you, uh, uh, did you clean, did you rake all the leaves you got? No girl, I redid my pantry. I'm gonna do my tour at haul tomorrow. Shocking. Like I did the haul already. Shocking. But, um, yeah. Is it going to be on this video or not? Oh, it's going to be on this um, video. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my eye is like super twitchy. And I know the other day I told I you guys. Like, eat a banana. I don't know if that's an old wife tale now, but eat a banana. There's this whole thing I'm going through. And I just don't know. Like, okay. So there's normal eye twitching, which is like this like little twitch that goes like this or like in your eyebrow or something when you're like stressed I out. I know she's not going to turn eye twitching into an, oh my God, I'm dying moment. Please don't do it. Amber Lynn Reed, please. Or lack of sleep or whatever. But I think it was like two months ago. My eye just like twitched like one big twitch. Like it just did right now. And um, I was like, what the heck? So you just did it again. I don't know. And I was like, what the heck? And I didn't think of anything anything of it, but now it's been two months and it's like, it's this random big like eye pulsate. It's my whole eyelid. It's just like, and it's really bad when I'm trying to sleep. Um, it honestly freaks me out because it's like, I know I should see a doctor because there's a difference between little tiny twitches when you're stressed or tired versus like this, it's almost like a convulsion, convulsion, whatever the word is. Um, and I'm scared because- Why did she like, get the hard words right? She can't pronounce the easy freaking words correctly. That really just, that really just gets under my skin. <laughs> like, you know what cries my cares? Google scares you. Don't Google stuff. But it says a lot about like brain tumors, and I'm over here just like, that's terrifying, or something to do with like the nerve system in your brain, and I'm just like, <sighs> that adds on even more stress. But um, yeah, it's like this weird. <sighs> it's not even a twitch. It's like a literal, just like pulsate. It goes. Like really fast, and that's I it. hope she's not. It it. I hope she's not manufacturing this like purposely. I, I, I she better not be, please. Like a hundred times a day plus, and it's just really scary. And I feel like it's only getting worse. And I know I need to see a doctor, but I feel like people who are sick right now, they need to see the doctor. Oh, uh, Amberlynn Reed, the martyr. Oh, put her in the religious books. Call the religious scholars. I've got a new saint we can deify today. Amberlynn Reed, the the plague, the saint of plagues. Wrong, but. We can have little medals with her eating pasta that we could wear around our necks to remind us of the sacrifice she made during the apocalypse. Which is really scaring me. Uh, and I'm just, I'm wondering. There it is, that damn state of the wall. I was going to let it go. I was watching. I need to get better because it's just, it's not normal. It definitely does not feel like that normal, like, eye twitch from when you're stressed. So no try on. And I didn't really want to talk about this because it's more so like, I hate when people diagnose me in the comments. 
like i'd rather just diagnose myself or have my freaking doctor do it yeah. um sure because the whole like sure, dark knuckle yeah. thing everyone thinks it's diabetes and i'm just like i don't have diabetes i'm, I'm not even pre-diabetic which i'm very grateful for and it's just like google can mess with your head and so can like comments but that's mainly the dark no i don't think i've ever noticed a dark knuckles oh god can you die my knuckles are good right i got little i got little i got cute little hands these hands have never seen manual labor in their life Ooh. i don't think they're dark right don't make me nervous if you see anything crazy i if you ever see anything on me i want you all to tell me in the comments because a lot of people get diagnosed over the televisions and the youtubes because reason why i didn't want to mention anything is because i knew people would what is she talking about again are we not going to get a haul no see me with random things oh was that the haul here. was that the haul? so probably when i upload this i'm not gonna yeah read the comments on this video okay. there are some videos where i'm just like i know distinctively don't read comments in this yep, video and yep, then other yep, videos yep, where i'm yep, just yep, like yep, oh yep. the comments won't be so bad and then i'll go in wow. there and then people still pick apart something but that's just how it goes so Anyways, cool i'm rambling i'm super hot i'm gonna go sit in like in front of a fan or something because and we have our windows open we're gonna close them obviously here soon because it's getting dark but um it felt really good today it was in the it was like 71 degrees yeah and the other day we all sat outside um do we think she tried the clothes on and they didn't fit and then she made up this story as to why she can't try them on because i, I don't get it why call her a torrid hall we so I, I don't know. I thought she, maybe when I think of Hall, I, I, mean, I guess I guess maybe this is me. I'm overthinking and it's a loss for me. I thought Hall, I thought she would try things on. I just I I give her too much credit. It's my fault, not yours. Not hers, not yours, it's me. Yarn, it was really nice. It was really nice. So anyways, I'm wow. Good. So we'll catch up with you guys later. Yeah. So I'm in the bathroom because I just went pee. Oh, love that shower curtain again. I haven't seen the shower curtain since scale, scale gate when she made up her weight with different socks and, and panties and shirts on. Makes me think at home. Hmm. Yay me. But do you guys hear the rain? I think that's Becky outside pouring water out of a um, planter. It's just, it's not a storm. It's really just rain. I'm a pluviophile, so when it's like raining, I'm... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This girl can't say things like, um, she says things like sleepadid and candidid or whatever, but she knows she can pronounce words. Like, I don't even know the hell she just said. What did she just call herself? But why can't she do things with one syllables that easy? But when it's storming... Sis ain't doing it. Anyways, I wanted to end this vlog. I'm going to Don't do, ever do that again. Um, like trying on my new clothes in another video. So anyways, I know this video was kind of a flop. Most of my videos are. But I still hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. What can you say? I don't even know what just happened for 14 or so minutes. At least she admitted at the end the video was a flop. I would have liked to have seen her try those clothes on. But I guess uh, the flour and tea bags got in the way. It's raining. She suddenly knows big words but can't pronounce little words. Her eyelid is twitching. It's going... To the left, I don't know what that means. Stay off the Google. They're probably going to tell you, you got all these things you don't have. I hope she's not manufacturing that issue because I'm not even. I, all I thought I saw happen was her eyeball moved. But um, listen, hopefully she's okay. I'm never going to wish harm on anybody. So hopefully it's something normal. I say eat a banana. When my eyes twitch, my mom say eat a banana. The potassiums will help. Could be an old wives' tale. Could be a miracle cure. Try it out, Amberlynn Reed. Maybe cut the banana into your pasta and corn and see what happens. Yeah, other than that very uneventful video, the earrings were stupid. Well, two pairs were kind of okay. Those middle pair was stupid. That shirt was terrible. That crochet thing belongs in the back of a recliner. And I would have loved to have seen her try those pants. Stop saying you're a size 4, girl. You're not a size 4. Unless that's normal, but I think a size 4, I think of size 4. If you're a 4X, you're a 4X. But potato, potato, I guess, at this point. My whole my whole world has been shattered by this video. Hopefully, she releases a, a try-on video soon because I do want to see her try this clothes on. Anyway, uh, hopefully, you liked, hopefully, you liked this video. If you haven't, I subscribe to my channel. Please do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it to be alerted when I upload new content. Give this video a thumbs up. Giving this video and other videos on my channel a thumbs up. Means you like my videos. And when you like my videos, my channel grows. Hey. Feel free to share this video on other social media. I also have all my social media links down below. Feel free to follow me there. And don't forget to order a mug. The Teespring link is down below. They're super cute. What better way to start your, your mornings than drinking a hot piping cup of coffee out of my cute little face? You know you want to. It's at a reasonable price just to order one. Don't be crazy. And as always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And most of all, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.